Greetings from Manitoulin Island. Welcome to Parkinson's disease. Recovery is possible. I'm Fred Phillips and I'm a person living with the symptoms of Parkinson's. And contrary to conventional thought, I believe recovery is actually possible. In this video series is about my journey, what I've learned along the way, and the protocol and daily regimen I've developed in order to recover my health. Today I'd like to talk to you about responsible health care. Where do we draw the line between responsible and irresponsible health care when it comes to the treatment of the symptoms of Parkinson's? And what I'm really talking about here specifically is the administration of medication. Is one medication okay? How about two or three or even four medications? Does it depend on the individual in the situation? When does a neurologist become pill happy in terms of the care of their, their, their patient? The reason I'm asking this question is because I recently became aware of yet another person who's having tremendous difficulty, likely, in all likelihood, the result of the cocktail of medications that they're taking. There are a lot of medications that are used to treat the symptoms of Parkinson's. There's levodopa, carbidopa, dopamine agonists, off-time medications, medications to treat dyskinesia, and medications to treat uh, anxiety and depression. So the potential for a lethal cocktail is enormous. And here's why. So you're, you go to see a neurologist for the first time and he or she tells you that you have Parkinson's disease. They tell you that there's no known cause for Parkinson's and that it's progressive, degenerative and, and incurable. And they tell you that the only way to treat it is with medications and that these medications have these medications have side effects. It's like, oh my goodness, what the heck do you do? And at this point, you're probably feeling backed into a corner, that you've been given a life sentence and that your options are limited. Because you've got this neurologist sitting there telling you that you've got Parkinson's, it's incurable, and the only way to treat it is with medication. It's like, holy crap, you feel powerless and overwhelmed. I think for most of us, this would be an extremely frightening situation. So the answer to the question is simple. You take a chance on the side effects and you go with the medication. At the risk of sounding melodramatic, um, at the risk of sounding melodramatic, uh, when you make this decision to go with the medication, you're basically giving up control of your life because the medications are going to take over, and I can tell you that from personal experience. I'd love to be able to talk to everybody who's been recently diagnosed with Parkinson's to tell them you don't have to take medication right away, and it's not incurable. There's lots of things you can do and lots of things people are doing to manage the symptoms naturally while, you work towards, while we work towards a full recovery. Because once you start down the road of medication, there's no turning back. Side effects aside, these medications are extremely difficult to wean off of. Uh, now, I managed to go 16 years without medication. And I'd likely still be medication-free if I'd really understood the combined effects of Bowen therapy and, and uh, chronic worry. But here I was uh, instead late in, in the 2018. I found myself at the local hospital after experiencing six weeks of, of uh, panic attacks. Again, the panic attacks, I believe, were the res result of Bowen therapy and, and chronic worry. At the hospital, at the, at the, hospital the, the, <coughs> excuse me, the ER doctor prescribed lorazepam, an anxiety medication. And that just made matters worse because the next day I found myself back at the hospital uh, this time I was completely immobile. Now, there was, I was cared for by a different ER doctor who prescribed sertraline, which is another anxiety medication, and she also convinced me to go on levodopa. And actually, initially the results were really positive because a week later I walked out of the hospital and I went home and shoveled snow. So I was quite happy. Um, 
I, w I was actually able to wean off the, the um, sertraline after about two months. And I stayed on levodopa. And for the first 10 months or so, as I said, I was quite happy with the, the, the results. Um, I was taking levodopa three times a day. And it was in effect pretty much all day long. And there was an improvement with all my symptoms. Unfortunately, the ER doctor didn't mention anything about the wear off effect of the medication, which kicked in about 10 months later. Nor did she tell me about the wear off, the more debilitating wear off rebound effect, which kicked in about 10 months after that. So now I'm taking um, levodopa three times a day. It lasts for about two and a half hours each time. And when it wears off, the symptoms I experience are even worse than normal. It's really, uh, it's really challenging. And trust me when I tell you that the situation I'm in right now, it really sucks. When the wear off uh, rebound effect kicks in, it's really debilitating. Um, I'm guessing my situation is the same situation that the person who I spoke about at the beginning of this video found themselves in when they decided to take more medications. But I'm drawing my line in the sand right here. I'm not taking more medications. I'm not going to make matters worse by taking more medications. I'm sure the medical community as a whole is well-meaning in its treatment of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. I really think they believe that medication is the best way to treat it. But quite frankly, they have no first-hand experience in dealing with the side effects, so they have no bloody idea what it's like. Perhaps it's time to take a new approach. Perhaps it's time the medical community acknowledge the people who have recovered from the symptoms of Parkinson's to understand what they did to accomplish that. Perhaps it's time researchers, doctors, and neurologists join the legions of PWPs who are exercising, eating healthy foods, meditating, practicing Qigong, practicing gratitude, spending time in nature, doing body work and emotional healing, taking CBD oil and, and supplements, and practicing natural behaviors that are intended to stimulate the, the release of dopamine naturally. Perhaps then we might actually start to heal people. Unfortunately, as a society, We've been conditioned to take the easy way out by, by taking medications rather than committing to doing the hard work that we need to do to, to, to recover our health or on our, ourselves. My philosophy is it took me a lifetime to get to the state that I'm in right now and I'm not going to cure it overnight by popping pills. For me, it's just not the best way to treat this disease. And that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I would like to note of caution that this is what I've expressed today is my own personal opinion uh, on the best way to treat the symptoms I'm experiencing and we each have to decide for ourselves what's best for ourselves. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Uh, if you have any questions or if you'd like to share your own experience, please see my email below or visit my blog where you'll find over 500 posts on my experience with the symptoms of Parkinson's. So we'll see you next time, and in the meantime, have yourselves an awesome day. May you be healthy and may you be content. Cheers.